Hey guys, so this is not my typical news video solely because there is no news to talk about today, so I'm not gonna force anything. Rather, we're gonna do something pretty fun. I've been cooking this up for like a week or two or something like that, and I thought it would be fun to talk about this, and there's gonna be flaws in this video. Obviously, there's going to be a difficult sample size, but I just did my best. I thought this would be fun. Take this lightly, but let's get right into what we're talking about today. I know it's kind of like a meme to make fun of the yellow team, you know, call them really bad and, you know, I think that that's hilarious. Um, I love targeting a specific team, even though I'm on it sometimes, but I was wondering if there's any validity to, you know, everybody roasting the yellow team. I was wondering if they're actually the worst team and how the data would back that up. Now, I wish I could say that I like hacked into the game's files and stats or whatever and somehow got the actual all-time record for each team. I wish I could do that, but I can't. I also couldn't really think of a way to compile tons and tons of games very quickly in a way that wouldn't take absolutely forever. So what I did was I went out and I just played, you know, or I've been playing over 100 games of Fall Guys. And so what I did was I recorded the result of every single team game and which team lost. And I say every single team game. I don't mean that because I did not record results like Jinxed. I did not record team tail tag because there's four teams. I did not record fall ball. So basically any mode, uh, team mode rather, where there was yellow, blue, and red for the teams, I recorded which team lost. Now remember that 100 is like a decent sample size, but this is not the absolute truth, right? Like this could totally just be a bunch of outliers. I think that I would consider myself to be a somewhat average player, maybe a little bit above average. So I don't think the teams that I was on had a huge impact on what happened in the games, maybe just a little bit. So again, this is flawed. Don't take this 100%, but I thought that the results were pretty interesting. So when I share this with you guys, keep in mind that the number out of 100 for each team is actually their losses. So the best team is going to have the least amount of losses and vice versa. So let's get right into this. I'm going to share these numbers with you guys out of 100 games. The red team came in first place and only lost 18 times, which is ridiculous. That's well under a third. That's almost like half of a third, which they should be at if everything was absolutely even. And so, wow, like the red team actually might be the best. I've seen a lot of people saying it's between red and blue, but I think from my experience, I've definitely been beaten a lot by red or when I'm on red, I won a lot. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Maybe this is all just a bunch of nonsense and maybe it was just lucky, but I think that red only losing 18 times out of 100 is pretty awesome and kind of insane. At number two, this is kind of a shocker. This is the yellow team and I'm not sure exactly how this happened. Everybody says that the yellow team is the worst, but according to the data that I got, apparently they're not. And I don't know, like I've said a million times, this isn't 100%, but the yellow team lost 37 times out of 100, you know, when there's three teams in the game. I find that to be incredible because everybody just makes fun of them. And I thought there would be like an actual like basis off that, but it doesn't seem like they're half bad. Now, maybe everybody has a different experience than me. And, you know, the yellow team is always like the team losing in their games. I'm not exactly sure. Yellow team still lost over twice the amount that red did. So that's still kind of ridiculous. And yet I think that them not being in last place is, you know, at least enough. I say them as though I'm not on that team sometimes, but I just try to not associate myself with yellow since they get made fun of so much. Anyway, number one, obviously by process of elimination, rather I guess number three if you're going by last place, this is blue, and if you did the math, they actually lost 45 times, which is incredible. That's almost one in every two games that they lose, and that's not good news, man. I thought that blue before I actually started recording this was actually the best team and so to see them losing almost half of their games was actually kind of ridiculous and I was also surprised that they lost so many more games than yellow who I previously thought to be the worst. It's definitely very interesting. I'm glad I recorded this data. Um, obviously sample size of 100 games, that's not too many and yet I still think it's pretty telling that yellow might not actually be the worst team and red is also actually pretty good and I'm not sure if other people's data if it was recorded would back this up but I think that it's pretty interesting to see all this. Anyway I'm making this on my lunch break so that's pretty much it. I don't have that much more for you guys today. 
I'd love to go more in depth, but I also don't want to stretch this video out unnecessarily. I do want to give a shout out to this channel. Its name is Fall Guys. It's actually where I got this gameplay, and I'm hoping to make a video later today addressing what I do with my gameplay, why I use gameplay that's not mine, etc. And hopefully that will kind of clear the air with that. I know it's not like a huge deal or anything, but I just kind of want to stay on the same page with you guys. So I'll probably make a video later today on that. But I do want to give this shout out to this Fall Guys channel that's posted like these little clips that I keep using. Using. You know, if you consistently watch my videos, you'll notice that it's the same games every time. So if I post a gate crash clip in one video, the next video, if I also post a gate crash clip, it'll be the exact same run. And I'll be explaining all of that later today. So make sure to watch that video if you want to know what's going on. But the link to that channel will be in the description because if you just search Fall Guys and even put on the channel fil filter, you won't be able to find it. So I'll put that link to that channel in the description. Other than that, fellas, I don't have much else. I would just take the time to say, subscribe to the channel if you want to, if you're interested, unsubscribe at any time, if you're not satisfied with the content or you just get bored of it. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Love you, and I'll see you again.